Hey guys, happy gorgeous Tuesday. It's only 7 in the morning and I'm already very hyper, so it's gonna be an amazing day. I'm very excited about it. I'm gonna vlog it because I'm going to a town called Tula. It's about two hours away from Moscow if you go south. And the reason why I'm going there is because it's my friend's birthday. And he's originally from Tula. His name is Igor. You've met him. And he decided to invite some of his friends to go there and celebrate it with his family, which I'm very happy about. <laughs> I just want to let you know that I haven't really slept last night, so if I say anything weird, or just stupid. <laughs> it's not me. It's the lack of sleep. Anyways, everyone is already in Tula. They went there yesterday, but I decided to go today and I want to vlog it because I think it will be interesting to see a different part of Russia. On my Instagram and here on this channel, I think I show pretty places in Moscow and the streets and it looks very nice, but Moscow is the largest city in Europe and it's also the most developed city in Russia. It's a business center, it's a government center, it's a cultural center, so everything is here. I like Moscow. However, most of the country doesn't live that way. I personally have never been to Tula and I know that we're actually gonna be staying in the village near Tula. So I'm really curious to see how that's gonna look. And I just wanna show you guys as well because it's an adventure and as always, I'm taking you with me. So grab your cup of coffee, grab your cup of tea, have an open mind and let's go explore. big and there's so many exits that I took the wrong exit but anyways I have about two hours until my train leaves and I just wanted to have breakfast at this vegan place that's nearby and it's my favorite vegan cafe in Moscow and I'll show it to you <laughs> located on the territory of art play here in moscow i've been here a million times it's 100 mm -hmm. vegan 100 delicious you know it's so nice when you go to a cafe and you just order coffee and you don't have to specify the milk or pay extra for the milk because it's automatically plant milk i feel normal <laughs> they also have books flying around so i just picked one in russian we call him viktor yugo i don't know how to pronounce it in english so yeah i'm just gonna read a little enjoy my pancakes and then we're gonna go to Tula. I was literally just about to say how much I love slow mornings when I can just relax and take my time eating and then I also called my friend and we talked and then I looked at the time and I realized that I have like 18 minutes till the train leaves and I'm like 10 minutes away so I literally can't believe that I came two hours early and I'm still running late <laughs> Guys, I've arrived. The plant is a little bit shaken, but it's still holding on. Welcome to Tula. Honestly, about this present, it's like an inside joke that's only inside of my head. So I'm really curious about how he's gonna react. I hope he's gonna like it. And they're supposed to be somewhere here to meet me. I love 
love this lighting, but it doesn't love me back. So, what's the plan? We're gonna walk a bit, look at each other. Each other, yes, in her beautiful eyes. Uh, we will spend some time at uh, Tula Kremlin in oh, the yeah. center of the city. I'm excited about the Kremlin because you guys probably have heard about the Kremlin in Moscow, but it's actually a fort type of building that you can find in many towns here in Russia. Kremlin is uh, just a regular building in the center of every old Russian wow. town. Yeah, And here is a very unique Kremlin with a black pala. I don't know how to say that either. It's not gold, not white. Quite unusual, it's black. Black, and you black. like black. I love yeah. black ones. <gasps> oh, that's the one! I actually had a few people ask me how I feel about the Lenin statues around Russia and the fact that we have a lot of Soviet heritage that we don't get rid of. And personally, architecture-wise, I think it's nice to see how history unfolded, so to speak, and to not forget what it led to. On this square, there are so many different historical periods that are represented, and it honestly feels so surreal. thing about Russia, in my opinion, is that the majority of people here practice Orthodox Christianity, but they don't really practice it. So whenever people hear that there's Orthodox Christianity in Russia, they assume that everyone's like very religious and it's very strict. However, I wouldn't say that many people actually practice all the rituals and follow Lent and do that kind of stuff. We think that because of the Soviet Union, the religious zeal that people used to have, it decreased a lot. So we still have a lot of heritage and people wear little crosses on their necks and consider themselves Orthodox Christians, but it's not what people usually assume Orthodox Christianity is. That makes sense. It really reminds me of the yacht class when I did nothing as well. <laughs> Update, I fell asleep in the car. It was the most Hi. wonderful nap ever and we finally made it to the worst place. It's very scary out here. Why am I whispering? <laughs> For his birthday, Yegor got a he got a bicycle and he's trying it out at 1 a.m. I'm sure the dogs are happy for you, Yegor. So <laughs> happy for you. Wow, look at that. Hey 
guys, we're back at Kirill's home. Hi. It's about 2 p.m. All we did today was basically wake up, have breakfast, and travel. Because we took the train and then we took the subway. How do you feel about the trip? How was it? It was nice. Tula is amazing. It's yeah. beautiful. It's actually, it's like very cozy, a little bit small. They really changed this. <laughs> they changed the city in the last few years and then. They... From what we were told, they made the city much prettier in the last few years. It was really nice. The prices were the best part, to be honest. It was so much cheaper than Moscow. We're very grateful to Igor and his parents and his whole family and their wonderful house for hosting us. It was like the warmest welcome ever. Thank you for joining us, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video to see some other parts of Russia a little bit, maybe learn something new, hang out with us again. Peanut butter. I'm leaving Moscow in two weeks. Oh my god, I'm leaving Moscow exactly in two weeks. That's so crazy. So yeah, I'm very happy that I got to make another video while I'm here and to show a little bit more of more of Russia basically. And to spend time with you. Oh. Thank you for being are you okay? <laughs> You're very hungry. <laughs> Thank you for watching guys, make sure to subscribe to not miss new videos. As always, I hope that you're having a wonderful time, that you're grateful wherever you are in the world or whatever you're doing, and I'll see you very very soon in a new video. Hopefully without him, because he's literally in every second video of mine. No, I'm kidding.